what's up guys it is cold out here welcome back to the channel bash brothers fishing dmv naeem here up at upper potomac man my hands are frozen look at that weather has totally changed it is 43 degrees this morning and it is cold i can see my breath everything but we're out nice and early about to get on some smallies super excited about today i have not been out here all season long we're about mid-october so i guess this could still be considered early fall mid-fall i guess i don't know we missed the spring bite we missed the summer bite we missed all the bite but we're here nonetheless and today is my birthday. Gonna to try to catch a birthday smallmouth bass today. Ironically, we were up here last year on my birthday, my brother and I, he wasn't able to make it today, but we're gonna get it in anyway, guys. We are officially at sunrise. We're gonna start with some top water, move around, try to locate some bass and make this thing happen. Come on, guys, let's get it in, let's go. officially in the water go on top water with the popper man my hands are already frozen you know it's cold when you break out these gloves right here 40 something degrees right now and it is going to get up to about 65 70 and be very sunny we had a full moon last night so hopefully that doesn't throw off the bite with fish feeding overnight in clear water like i'm in now but we're in it to win it try to get it done see if i can get a bass cruising this bank uh oh something just snapped at it something just I don't know that whatever it was it was pretty small all right we're gonna crank it out a little bit try a couple different depths i got the shallow runner right now see if i can just swim this above their heads see if i can get something to come up and take it and then we'll fish a medium diving crankbait goes down about 15 feet probably about 12 with line nice to get out and run the mark today it's been a while since i've had it out on the boat Got a nice little spot right here. Looked like there was a big, huge rock slide. Huge boulders. You can actually see where it came right down. I don't know if you guys can see up there. Looks like a huge chunk of rock just broke off right there. Up top came tumbling down. You got a huge boulder. I know the GoPro does not do justice to when it comes to size, but man, hopefully no one was hurt in that and it happened overnight i wonder what makes rock break off like that anyway let's get to our next spot all right i'm about to deep crank this wall right here to where the wall stops i was really trying to get down there if you can see where all that construction is used to be some flowing water right up there which was a very good spot to fish but it looks like they're building something over there i don't know what that is so that's not not going to be fishable today pretty pretty disappointed there that was one of the main spots i wanted to hit and not going to be able to fish it i am not getting any action the graph is blank i'm going to head over to the sunny side just to see if that makes a difference Whew, feels good to be in the sun i'll tell you that much if for nothing else i get to warm up a little bit Something was chewing on my tail. Don't know what that was. Ah, first bite of the day though. First real bite in the sun. Here we go guys. Uh, yeah, we got something. Oh, finally, 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 finally. Oh, he jumped right up. Finally got on something a little largey. I think it's a largey. Might be a smallmouth. Yeah, got a little smallmouth here. Decided to just go old school and tie on a Senko, fish a Texas rig. Let's get this guy in the boat. All right. 
Whew, first bass of the day. Man, it's been a grind. It's been an absolute grind. I have been fishing for, let's see, two and a half hours and got my first fish of the day. Let's get some sunlight on you. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful small mouth. Pretty cold fish. Yeah, man, temperatures are dropping, but he slurped it up right in front of these laydowns, but it was out some, wasn't even up in the sticks. Happy birthday to me, guys. Happy birthday to me. Birthday Smalley, love it. Thank you, guy. Appreciate you for blessing me on my birthday. I will let you go. Went straight down bottom. So guys, just went back to basics, Texas rig, worm, dipped the tail for a little bit of accent and got that one on the third cast after i did that i've been throwing a weightless worm a lot lately but decided to go with a quarter ounce bullet weight just to get it down bottom and allow me to target some specific spots and that did the trick just like that so guys I'm, i just made the longest run i've ever made on the upper potomac i can actually see the bottom shallow here about five feet Nothing but rocks. I came up here because I, I saw on Google Maps that there are a bunch of docks right here and boats and stuff. So I wanted to see if I could fish that, but all the boats are gone. Every last one of them. This whole stretch right here is normally covered with boats, but I guess in the fall, people will take their boats off the water. A little early, but you know, whatever. So I decided to come right across on the other side. They have these big bluff walls over here. And I said, let me at least throw my crankbait around a little bit while I give my Merc, my motor, a nice little rest because that was about a 30 minute run. Let's, uh, let's just crank around here and see if there's anything next to this wall before I head back down. Oh, crystal clear water. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that, guys. This is one of the most scenic places in Maryland. I'm actually on the West Virginia side of the river, but you can see clear to the bottom. Got to watch out for rocks because they'll sneak up on you, rip your motor right off. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see, but with the polarized lenses, I can see straight to the bottom. It looks beautiful. I did try to fish that bluff wall you just saw, but nothing no luck no bites at all still appreciate the beauty of upper potomac so at this point i'm gonna head back to where i caught my last fish and start making my way back towards the boat ramp fishing a few different spots along the way hoping to get on another one guys with that being said let's go Got him, got him, got him, guys. Ooh, okay, pull up to this. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Oh, he's digging down. This is probably a nice one. Yeah, he's digging down. Nothing like that smallmouth fight, guys. I came to this spot. I know it's a good spot. Glad there's no boats on it. And decided to cast it out. It's a spot I had marked on my graph from last year. Ooh, nice. Come on. Oh, he's a nice one. He's a nice one. He's a nice one. Try to wear him out a little bit. Uh, oh, he's under the boat. Come on out, buddy. Come on out. Come on out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. This is a beautiful, beautiful fish. These bites are few and far between, but very happy to get this guy right here. Very, very, very happy. Man, he choked it, look at that. You wanted that, didn't you, buddy? Perfect hook set. Definitely an upsize. Yeah, nice chunky guy right there. Probably a good pound and a half, pound and three quarters. Excellent, beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that, guys. Got him. What a beauty. Nice, healthy, healthy. Upsize right there, guys, upsize. Fall. Birthday, smally fishing, beautiful clear water. What a beauty this guy is. There he goes. So I just did a bait change over to this guy right here. I'm just throwing a Kitek swim bait on a, just a little jig head 
swim bait, jig head. I was throwing one with an underspin, it just felt like it was a bit much and decided to just trim down the profile a little bit and that worked. I think this is a VMC, maybe it's a half ounce, I think. I don't remember, I've had it for a long time. Let's see when we get in there and grab a couple more. All right, that just about wraps it up. Very tough day of fishing, man, but very excited to be out here anyway. Always a very scenic and relaxing place to come out and fish. I enjoy it every time. Can't wait to get back out here. I'm just glad I didn't get skunked on my birthday. Wasn't a big numbers day, but that's all right. That's how fishing is. That's real fishing, guys. Some days you just catch one, two, maybe three. Some days you land 10, maybe even 20 fish. But I'm just very happy to get out and enjoy myself on a special day like today. Always fun to catch some smallies. Got those two. One of them was a decent size. Got one on the Senko and the other on the swim bait. Awesome, awesome time. Time, but I'm gonna get on up out of here time to finish this day off at home with the family hope you enjoyed this video guys stay tuned to the next video road to 10,000 is on the way all right help us get there if you haven't subscribed yet and I know a lot of you who watch our videos are not subscribed so please do us a favor consider subscribing to our channel tap that notification bell as well leave us a like on this video we truly appreciate each and every one of you out there as always guys stay safe out there we'll see you next time Thank you.